guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be chatting to you a little bit about a series that's coming up, and I'm going to be doing full-on reviews on all the MAC products, as in all the foundations that they offer, all the powders that they offer, all the primers that they offer, all the concealers that they offer, all that kind of stuff. Um, I am starting with foundations, um, just because I have a lot of the foundations. I do love foundation. So, um, currently there will be two up straight after this video, but... I'm just going to kind of go into detail on why I chose MAC and why I chose to start with foundations and why I chose to do this whole thing and all that kind of stuff. So I chose MAC because in South Africa we don't have a lot of access to a lot of products or brands. So one of the widest range of selection or products we have that other countries have is MAC. So that was my first real kind of reasoning behind it i would do other brands but i also don't have the same passion for the brand for me i have a huge passion for mac products i love mac products and obviously i am buying all these products with my own money i'm not sponsored by mac or they don't give me the products to review or anything like that i do personally buy them all with my own money um so i do want to use a brand that i do love for myself and then i know i'll use the products i do want to put a disclaimer out there it is going to be a ton of products, I do realise that and I do know that, but it is going to be all for good reason. I have often gone to go buy a new MAC foundation, especially when I started using MAC, and you search in on YouTube, um, MAC face and body foundation review. There are a ton of videos that come up, I will give them that, but there's not in-depth views. Or there are in-depth views, but... Now, kind of exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to kind of go through all the information of the foundations and stuff like that. Kind of pinpoint or talk about everything that the foundation has to offer and everything about the foundation you should know before buying it. I will also be doing demos of the foundations with the videos. So you can kind of see how it applies. And alongside that, I'm going to give recommendations with the products to use. Um, as in powders, primers, concealers and all that type of thing. So that's also kind of what I'm going to be doing. As for the reason for MAC once again, is obviously I love MAC, like I've said, but I do find that they have the best quality products, best color ranges, best everything, so that is also why I chose MAC. I'm not going to go spend my money on something like Smashbox foundations, where I don't actually like Smashbox foundations at all, and then I'm never going to use a product up. I know with my MAC foundations, I've used almost every single one of them, I've used all of uh, almost every single one of them up completely and I've repurchased them that is also why I'm going to do this I'm not going to go and do a review on a brand that I want people to go and buy this isn't just a review on like my thoughts it's a review on how the foundation works so if you want to go out and buy the product you kind of have an idea of what to expect so it's not like I just bought this foundation and um, it's so good no that's not what I'm doing I'm doing something where I go into detail the product, what the texture is like, what the feels like, is it good quality, does it live up to its claims, how many shades it comes into, best way to apply it, best skin type to have it for, and that kind of thing. Um, I am going to go into detail about my skin type, just so that you guys kind of know with all the videos that come up what my skin type is like. I have a complicated skin, let me put it that way. I have eczema on my skin, I have a dehydrated skin, I have acne and acne scarring. And very oily skin. That's five things to have to find and sort out in a foundation. So for me, I can't just have one foundation. Because one day my skin is going to be super dry, and one day it's going to be super oily, and one day it's going to be blah, blah, blah. It's a never-ending story. Let me put it that way. So I also find it very difficult to find foundations for that. I do find that MAC does not break me out. It does not mess with my skin. It does not give me eczema. It does not do any of that. I know for me, I use a lot of like Revlon stuff in the past. That broke me out in eczema. And when I say broke me out, it gave me eczema. I can't use a lot of brands and products. I used the Smashbox one once, it gave me eczema. I used the Steeler one once, it gave me eczema. MAC is the only one that hasn't given me eczema. I've used all the MAC foundations and now they're giving me eczema. That is why I'm sticking to MAC as well. Obviously, eczema, once you get eczema in a patch, that patch does not go away. I mean, I had eczema on my face for a year from using one foundation once. And I know straight away because... Literally from the moment I put it on, I can start feeling it like a burn. So, that's also why I'm using MAC, guys. Um, but yeah, 
I will have a video up about my skin for the series just now. My camera is busy dying, so I'm going to have to film that in a few minutes. But guys, please stay tuned for this series. It is going to be so much fun, so in detail and in depth. And if you have any questions on the foundations, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to be doing this series though. This is going to be called the Review Series Foundations. So I'm excited guys, I'm super excited, we're going into winter now, which I love, I love winter, I love winter, I always say about my beanie, my dark lips, my long sleeve top, or almost long sleeve top, I'm loving it, just saying. So stay tuned, keep me posted about what you think, and subscribe so you can see when these videos are coming guys, bye!